Hey, everybody, welcome to the Gym Masters Show Live Entertainment Lifestyle Talk Show Series. We're coming at you at a very special time. We're usually here live at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. And we do have a, believe it or not, another show for you coming up. Uh, the legendary Hollywood veteran television film director, screenwriter, and producer Bruce Reisman is going to be with us coming up tonight at 8. But right now, we've got a special guest, a dear friend, somebody who you know and love like we all do. The one and only Dina Martin is joining in just a second, live and direct from Branson, Missouri, where she makes her home. Uh, you see her with her own show that she does, and she's on the radio, too, on WABC in New York. And she's just amazing. She's such a delight. She's a bundle of energy, real spunk, like Ed Asner said on Lou Grant and on Mary Tyler Moore. And she's just a beautiful person inside and out. And she and her husband, John, we've met on several occasions. They are dear, dear people. We toast all of our lovities. That's the viewers that are watching right now internationally from all around the world. Uh, we started this show about 469 episodes ago, seven days a week, which is extraordinary. And our guests come in from Broadway, Hollywood, television, film, music, culinary arts, sports, comedy, inspiration, science and nature, health and wellness, you name it. And we have a good time here. This is bringing back the lost art of conversation. Think Dick Cavett and Johnny Carson, uh, Mike Douglas, Merv Griffin, some of the greats. And as you guys know, I've worked in television and radio as a host and personality presenter, journalist, actor, writer, producer, stage MC, voiceover artist for a long time. And uh, you guys wanted me to do a show like this. So we created our Entertainment Lifestyle Talk Show series, 469 episodes, 470 just about. And thanks for all of the great comments, all the lovity, a word that just created itself when I said it accidentally. And I was saying the show has a lot of light, love, and levity. And I said it too fast, ever the New Yorker, and out came the word lovity. And ever since that day, you guys have been just really basking in the lovity glow. Thank you so much watching from all around uh, the United States and the globe. This show originates from the United States, from the greater New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, tri-state area. We're here along the beautiful Southern New England coast between New York and Boston. And we toast all of you as we always do. And every time, like I said, I do this, I feel like I'm at Sunday mass and we are blessing you. <laughs> so I bless all of you. And thank you for joining us. Mm. Thanks for all the great comments. We've had so many wonderful episodes here. They're all archived on our YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV, over 469 of them. Uh, enjoy. I know a lot of you love to binge watch our episodes here on the Gym Masters Show Live. And we also have our lovities who are commenting through and through, and you can comment live during our show. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, the channel you're watching right now, Gym Masters TV. Give this episode a like, a thumbs up, and leave a comment on our YouTube channel as well. We would absolutely love that. That means the world to us. And when you do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV, home to the Gym Masters Show Live, be sure and click the notification bell so you never miss any of our episodes, our live episodes, our specially recorded episodes, and our pop-up shows as well. Sometimes we just pop up and it's just you and I chatting and we have a good old time. Hello to all the Lovities and the Lovity squad. And again, today on the show, the wonderful Dina Martin is joining us. As I mentioned, subscribe to our channel, Gym Masters TV. We'd love that. Share the Lovity. Spread the word about the Gym Master Show Live Entertainment Lifestyle Talk Show Series. We would absolutely love that. Many of you have been doing that, and that is so terrific. Sherry Larson's in Kansas. She says, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, Dina. Good to see you, Sherry. And Mary Bishop is in Florida, USA. Hi, Jim and Lovity friends. Welcome, Dina. I know you guys are all excited. You've been excited for quite some time. Again, we're doing this at a very special time, 4 Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific. So we say hello to everybody. Merlin's in Ontario. Good afternoon, Jim and all lovelies. Good to see you as well. Hi from Dawn, who's watching. Thank you very much. We really appreciate that. Merlin in Canada welcomes Dina to Lovely Hall. She's now a lovely. You know, she when I told her about that, she says, bring it on. I love Lovity. So she's excited. So the Pallies and the Lovities are coming together right now here on the Gym Master Show Live. Juanita is here from South Africa. Hello, Jim and Lovity squad as always. She's here. Southern California is in the house with Anne. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We sure are. Everybody's toasting. I love that too. Christine Clifton watching in North Carolina, USA. Greetings, Jim and Lovity friends. Welcome, Dina, to the show and cheers. 
And Juanita says, welcome to the show, Dina as well. Glad that you guys are doing well. And again, keep those comments coming. You can definitely comment uh, throughout the entire show as often as you like. And of course, this episode will be available uh, afterwards to watch and enjoy as well. Of course, we know the wonderful Dina Martin for her brilliant, uh, her wonderful vocal prowess. She's just extraordinary. She's also a, a wonderful actress and a dear friend. But first, let me show you this picture. Ah, uh, <laughs> do I hear a collective ah? <laughs> These are courtesy of Dina. Uh, there she is with her dad, her proud dad, the one and only Hollywood and music legend, film legend, TV legend, the extraordinary, the creator of Cool and Everything Smooth. You guys always say how smooth and calm, cool, collected, and easy I am. Well, here is one of the founders of that, Dean Martin, with Dina. Some beautiful shots here over the years. And we'll talk about this with uh, Dina. Uh, she's here for a short time with us. So I'm going to talk fast. <laughs> we'll have her back too. But I'm sure you guys know these. Look at the, this is just love and joy. And uh, absolutely love it. And uh, just so you guys know, I know I had mentioned this. Uh, Dina and I, and of course, her fantastic husband, John, who's brilliant at everything he does, we met actually in New York at several events, uh, not, uh, well, I'd say maybe three, four, five, six, seven years ago, and have stayed in touch. Uh, this is at one of the events uh, in New York City. There's Dina, of course, looking as always beautiful inside and out. Her husband, John, as well who's uh, an epic producer and all kinds of different things, manages Dina and her incredible work, just really terrific. But again, don't you just love that shot? Why don't we welcome her to the show? She is in Branson, Missouri, where she and John make their home. Let's welcome the incomparable Dina Martin to the Gym Master Show Live. Dina, welcome to the show, my friend. How are you? I am excellent. Thank you. It's excellent to be here. I've got my little sippy. Bottle. Oh, yes. Let's <laughs> toast. Toast, toast. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers <laughs> to the lovities. I yeah. knew you would have that glass. <laughs> I knew it. But yours is bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, so it's great to be here. Oh, it's good to see you again. And again, I mentioned, you know, we had uh, met several times at some really wonderful events in, uh, in New York. And uh, of course, your concert events and other events. How have you been? We've been through some really interesting times, of course, and teachable moments. And uh, it's time to, you know, share the love, the empathy, the kindness around the world. And you've been doing that beautifully throughout, haven't you, my friend? I have, and you know what? It's so uh, 469 shows you, you've been doing. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and so, how it, you know, and interesting how it started. And for me, for my Facebook Live shows, which this coming Friday, it will be 77 shows. Congratulations. Yeah. Lucky seven. Thank you very much. A lot of work, but so much fun. And the people, just as you say, you know, we get comments and everything, and it's, uh, and now I have, you know, I have all my pallies and all my levities. <laughs> yes. But I started it because my, well, over 77 weeks ago, because all my shows were canceled. Yes. And I had some sold out shows, you know, at, at Herb Alpert's in Beverly Hills. Yeah. And, I, and it was just canceled at, like the night before. And I thought, well, what am I going to do? So I said to Rosario, oh, what are we going to do? She said, why don't you do a Facebook live show? Yeah, so you have, you know, you have the room downstairs. So we came down, put my iPhone on a tripod, this tripod, actually. And, and, yeah. <laughs> and it uh, it just it's become such a, uh, you know, worldwide. I was number one on Polestar for live, you know, live shows. And it's That's been great. So, so much fun. And, uh, you know, as I say, you know, a lot of work, but I've got, you know, I've got Rosario, I've got my handsome husband, John, got yeah. Rick Freeby in Boca Raton, Florida, doing the music. And Eddie Mena on sax in Tennessee. So, and Vinnie Raniola in New York, you know, playing guitar for him. You know, so it's, uh, it's uh, quite something. But it's, uh, it's a joy for me to be able to sing this music and tell these, uh, some of my corny jokes and people are loving it. <laughs> but, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be here with you right now. 
Actually, uh, I wish we were Patsy's having a meatball teeny right yes, now. Yes, <laughs> yes. We we must do that again soon when you're back on the East Coast, Sal and the gang and everybody, beautiful yeah. people. I love the background, and we'll do sometimes we do a little of that uh, person to person Edward R. Murrow type thing. Tell us about the phenomenal room you're in. I love everything that's around you and behind you. It's so many years of memories and music and treasures around you, Dina. It is, and. Uh, you know, for me, this was an add-on to our house, which was great because I needed a studio since we were, you know, stuck down here and we did it. And I have these, I have gold albums and the whole room. In fact, I have to, I wish, and maybe the next time we do the show together, we'll do it up in the den where I have all of, you know, my father's uh, gold and platinum albums. We have so much memorabilia in here. It's fantastic. And I have beautiful photographs, big photographs that my uh, handsome husband, John, got for me that were actually lining the walls of Capitol Studios. He got copies of those. As you walk down the hall at Capitol Studios into Studio A, the walls are lined with Peggy Lee, uh, let's see, um, Judy Garland, Bobby Darren, Nat King Cole, Dean Martin, The Beatles, and I have all of those photographs here, Ella Fitzgerald, so I have them all framed walking up the stairs and all in the in the den. And we will do a show one time where you can see all of those and we'll sit oh. in the den. And it's just, it's remarkable. Uh, it's oh, just that is. remarkable where we. Uh, where yeah, we what you've done, what you've <laughs> done. Right, exactly. It's it's fantastic. I'm so glad that you are, you know, doing what you're doing because you really are as your dad was, as John is, you're communicators, you're storytellers, you love being amongst the people, as I do, you know, as a TV radio guy, there's just something about empowering, inspiring, lifting people up with kindness, entertaining them and connecting with them. And, and your father, a master at that, my father as well with his Irish humor, same thing. And yeah. I think we were the lucky ones because a lot of that has been passed down to us, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's, it's so funny because, you know, when I think about my father, he was so charming and, of course, the king of cool. But he had a one-liner, you know, I mean, he could make anything. He could make anything funny. It's not that he told jokes. You know, he was just humorous. And he, he uh, you know, he taught me to dream big and to, of course, treat people the way you want to be treated. But growing up with him and just seeing his sense of humor, and, of course, all the Martins are hams. <laughs> we just are. And uh, so that's, he was a communicator. He, you know, as I told you, I think he said, you know, treat people the way you want to be treated. And that's what he did with everyone. And, you know, so for me to be able to sing his songs, carry on his, his legacy, and, and my uncle Frank Sinatra, and my uncle Sammy Davis Jr., uh, you know, I was taught by the best. And I have been so blessed and so, so lucky uh, to have known them. And, uh, you know, you're showing these uh, photographs. This is great for me to sit here and see those, those beautiful yeah. photographs of my handsome dad. The King of Cool, Dean Martin. Oh, so, look at that. <laughs> I was two, you know, and there's my grandfather, Gitano Crosetti, and my grandmother, Angela Barra Crosetti. You know, that she taught me how to make pasta vajoule. Did she really? Secret. Oh, I love pasta vajoule. I'm Dina Angela, okay? So I was named after her. So one day when I was nine or ten years old, I went over to her house. She said, Dina, I'm going to teach you how to make pasta vajoule because we would always have it on Sunday nights for dinner. She said, and don't tell your sisters. Don't tell anyone. This is just for you and your dad. And when I'm gone, she said, and there's the secret ingredient. Don't tell anybody about this. When I'm gone, one day that'll be a connection for you and your father. So, right. okay. And so I, you know, I watched her do it and we did the whole thing. And wouldn't you know, about 30 years after she passed away, it's Christmas. And I'm thinking, what am I going to get my father for Christmas? Another V-neck sweater, another, you know, yeah. framed picture with a silver frame. And it came to me, got the pasta vajoule. Mm. My gosh. So I went, I got all of, you know, the, the Progresso cannellini beans and the onion and the olive oil and the Romano cheese and the Ditalini, the little, you know, pasta. And I went home, I made it, it turned out, it was beautiful. I put it in a red 
ball mason jar with a red ribbon. I mean, a, a glass, a glass jar, a red ribbon. Took it over to his house for Christmas. If you could have seen his eyes when I handed him that, he hadn't had it, and so many, and he looks at it, and he looks at me, and says, "Is this what I think it is? Yeah. Is this pasta bajou?" I said, "Yeah, I'm getting chills right now." And yeah. he wanted to cry. And he said, "And it's warm." I said, mm. "Yeah." So we went in and had it. And the next week he called me. He said, Dina, this is your father. I said, I know your voice, Dad. He says, do you think you could make that pasta bajou for me again? Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. My yeah. grandmother knew. And yeah. I did. And I made it for him for uh, forever, you know, for yeah. him. And it was just so, so sweet. And I remember the first time I took it up, he wasn't there. And there was a little envelope for me. It said, Dina. Inside, there was a thank you note and five $100 bills. And the note was, thanks, baby. This is for the beans. So the next week he called me and he said, you know, hi, hi. Could, do you think you could make that? I'm your, I'm your dad. I said, I know your voice. And he said, could you make that one more time for me? The pasta vision. I said, of course. I said, but dad, the beans cost $2. I said, I don't want five. You know, I don't need the money. I just want, I'm making it for you. So I make it. I take it up there. He's not there. He's playing golf. Another envelope, Dina on the cover. Another thank you note and five $100 bills. This time it says, buy a house. I love mm. you, dad. You know, so, and I said, no, I'm never going to make it for you. I don't want any more money. And I made it for him for the rest of his life, almost, you know, every week. And he was so happy. And it was a definite connection between my dad, my grandmother, and, and me. And so finally in my book, Memories Are Made of This, Dean Martin through his daughter's eyes, I have a picture of my grandmother and my dad. And the recipe is in the is in the book. So people can, uh, you know, they can absolutely just make it. And it's wonderful. And remember to always use Romano cheese just because it's better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. That's yeah. fine. What a great story. Thanks Isn't for sharing. Nice? That yeah. is really, yeah. It was, uh, so, it was so amazing uh, uh, to me. And also, you know, I had kind of a little argument with Sophia Loren. There's the book there. Was, yeah. Uh, there it is, and uh, it's like on the last page. Uh, so I'm, I'm sitting there with Sophia Loren, and uh, you know we're talking about food, and she was going to invite us over for dinner, and she's, and I said, do you make pasta bajou? She said, yeah. of course. And yeah. I said, red beans or white? She said, red. I said, no. And I said, do you put garlic in? She said, I said, no, you don't put garlic in. And then, <laughs> and then I said, then she said, no. I said, no, you don't put tomato. We said, no. Yes. White beans, no, and no garlic, no tomato. Anyway, so. Anyway, we ended up not going to her house for dinner. No, <laughs> she's a good friend. But there are yeah. different ways of making And then she it. grabbed your face and said, no, you're not making it correctly. <laughs> yeah. <She's sorry. laughs> there you go. <laughs> this is how you make it. it. <laughs> That's funny. She said, no, it's red beans. No, white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great shot. What night was that? I think we were at Nyath and uh, yeah. Yes, I think I'm pretty sure we were at NIAF and she was being honored and my dad was yeah. being honored and I was on the dais, we were on the dais. Yeah. And it was, you know, it's it so, it so funny to have an argument with her about the cut. You know, <laughs> about the, the, the and beans. So I was like, no. <laughs> 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 it's and a I shot with Tom Hanks. Yes, he's yeah. a doll. What Isn't a, he? What a good guy. Yeah, he really yeah. is. What a fabulous actor and a nice, good person. Nice, sweet yeah. guy. Yeah, you've you've had an opportunity really to uh, commiserate with so many wonderful people. Joe Montaigne, of course, who we all know and love. We love you know. him, and I roasted him. I we had Dina Martin, a celebrity roast in Las Vegas. He was great. Everybody came in. Mike Marino came in. Tommy Dreesen, you know. And, oh, Tom uh, Dreesen, yeah, he was a guest. He's wonderful yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's fabulous, Tommy. Uh, he's. He's a dear old friend, and yeah. that's great. So uh, very yeah, funny. Dina Martin, celebrity woes, and Barbara Sinatra, and um, John, and John, Hans my handsome husband John. I can't just say John; he has to be a <laughs> husband John. He is, and we. Susan so Lochi. I was so excited because I'm taller than her. <laughs> 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 it was cute yeah you look like um, it could be twins you know it's just yeah, and, it's true. And, yeah. and she's she's a wonderful person as well she is on the reach uh, yeah um, regis philbin one of my favorites dear friends sorely he? missed he was yeah regis. birthday just uh the other day uh, you know and so i i made a toast to him 
Uh, but yeah. he was great. Enjoy. And Another Andy, favorite, the one and only Andy Williams. Oh, isn't that isn't that wonderful? We were yeah. at his uh, at his show. He the last recording he did was on my White Christmas album. He sang White Christmas with me, and it's really un unbelievable. It was his last uh, last recording. What a good yeah. guy! And I Debbie, mean, were, yeah. There it is. There we have it. There. Yeah. Uh, the White Christmas album. Beautiful, beautiful. I have that. That's a beautiful album. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Great arrangements. Well, yeah. So. Well, you were surrounded by Christmas as, as I was, uh, you know, in our family, you were surrounded by Christmas and all of the, the incredible Christmas celebrations and the TV shows and everything, huh? What was that like for you as a kid, just being surrounded by, by that? And I just have to say, kudos to you. You really in your shows and just even off the air in the conversations we had, the, the love, the respect, the admiration that you have for your father with all the humor and the humorous stories that you weave in as well is exemplary. It's extraordinary. And you learn so much more about this iconic person to everybody else who is dad to you. And you just, the way you, you cherish and savor in his memory and his talent, which has been passed to you as well, is such a beautiful thing. You don't always see that. So I think it's a beautiful thing. You have your own set career and individuality, but you also pay homage to him and all of those around that made it happen. And I think that's an absolutely beautiful thing, Dina. Well, thank you so much. I have been so blessed. I really have. To have Uncle Frank, Uncle Sammy, all the all the people that I've known in my life. And, you know, learning how to dance from Sammy Davis Jr. and how to breathe and uh, interpret a song from Frank Sinatra. And of course, you know, my dad said, know the lyrics, be early, stand on your mark and sing from your heart. You know, I mean, that's that's what he was. And make sure that you leave everybody happy when you're when you're gone. And, you know, so all the people that I've known in, in my life have just been, you know, spectacular to me. And it's something that I'm supposed to, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I'm happy doing. And I don't mind all the hard work. It's, it's yeah. worth it. And the, you know, the people, the responses, just like you get all these people, all your loveties and everything, you know, uh, what you do is fantastic. And I'm thinking about, you know, Christmas, Christmas on mountain drive with all the, you know, all of our crazy kids and the people who would come over our Christmas Eve party, you know, on Christmas Eve, you go to, you know, midnight mass. And then, you know, so, and I remember one time, this was so cute, uh, Frank Sinatra, Uncle Frank said, you know, wouldn't it be great if, you know, on Christmas Eve, if, you know, your dad comes in and he, and he comes in down through the fireplace and goes, surprise. I said, what's the surprise of that? That's how he comes home every night. <laughs> so, he, so he was like, <laughs> we know because we have the, the, the Christmas with the Sinatras and, you know, that uh, fabulous uh, a Christmas special that we did on the Dean Martin show with oh, all yes. the Sinatras and we were all singing together. And I, in fact, I just spoke to Tina yesterday uh, because we might be doing something, but how lucky have we been, you know, in our lives and, and to have Christmas with all these people and Christmas is, you know, I think about Andy Williams at Christmas. My dad used to call him Mr. Christmas. We could be out to dinner and Andy Williams would walk in and he'd go, Hey, Christmas. You know, because yeah. that's, they were really yeah. good friends. But yeah. you know, when you hear it's a marshmallow world, mm -hmm. uh, you know it's Christmas. And when you hear uh, Andy Williams saying it's Christmas, but when we would trim the tree and everybody, all seven kids, you know, at home, and, you know, dad would put the lights on it. You know, it was just an amazing, amazing time of year. And uh, we always have nice big Christmases. Absolutely. I want to show folks some of the other things that you have done in case they want to add them to their collection. Uh, you're always, you know, recording and writing. Do you love the writing process when you wrote the book? Uh, what was that process like for you? I mean, I'm sure quite emotional as well and, and cathartic in a way, huh? It was absolutely. I, you know, I had a, a few, uh, let me see, yellow legal pads and my pen and I sat down at the dining room table and I'm writing and so and I had steno pads where I would go out and interview dad's friends and I'd sit there and I had my little tape recorder and they would tell me all of their stories and I'm writing so sitting down it was it was before you know 
it wasn't before typewriters, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not good at, at typing, but I'm. But it was good. after ballpoint pens. <laughs> I, exactly, well, you know what, because there's something about it, you know, Catholic yeah. school and you know, my handwriting is perfect. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I got A's, you know, the sister Mary Joseph made sure. And, uh, you know, so yeah. I would sit there and write. And so I would go through everything. And so there were happy times. And then there were, you know, sad times. You know, there's, you know, marriages and divorces and, you know, and, and then this and that. And so, and then deaths and, and births. And so you're writing through all of it. And so I was reliving every, every bit of it. And I would probably still be writing it because it was just so there's no, there's no editing. Oh, we have to cut that out. These are all important things. And the, the whole idea about the, the book was, you know, my relationship with my dad and, and dad and everything that people go through in their lives and you can get through everything you yeah. can. And you, it's, uh, it's not just about Dean Martin. It's about, you know, me growing up and, and a dad growing up and everybody, because it's, it's a story. And I, I have to say, you know, I started to skip around, but I, you know, I'm thinking men would come up and, you know, they would say when I was signing their books and they'd already read the book. They say, Dina, I, you've changed my life with this book. You know, I never read a book all the way through, but it was great. Then there'd be an 18-year-old girl who'd come up and say, I love the book. It's so, it's so great. So it doesn't matter how old you are. If you're a Dean Martin fan, it's about life and living and relationships. And people have just loved the book. So I'm, I'm thrilled about that. But it was very emotional, you know, yeah. and it was, um, it was joyous. And I'd sit there laughing. John would come out and, you know, he'd go, what are you laughing at? I said, well, I can't believe he said this to me. You know, and, <laughs> oh, you know, so, I mean, it was, it was cute. I was thinking about, um, you know, when I got my car or, you know, the, just the, the humor and the things of everything that, uh, you know, we went through in our, in our lives and to be, uh, to be so loved yeah, uh, yeah and to, to feel the love from all the people now, you know, from yeah. all over, all over the, the world. The comments are coming in. What a yeah. lovely story. This is a great uh -huh. story. What a lovely story. You look like your dad. Great uh -huh. story <laughs> from literally all around the world. There is a, a CD of the same name as well, too, right? Of course. Yes. Memories. Yes. A lot. That was my first one. And on that one, I did a duet with uh, Jerry Lewis, Time After Time. Yes. Sammy Kahn and Julie Stein. So yes. there are great stories in there. But, you know, that, um, you know, I, I love the cover of this one. And I know this isn't that long ago. Oh, Swing oh Street. yeah. Swing Street. You know, it's funny. We went to uh, Savannah to do the shoot for it. Yeah. For the cover. And we're, you know, we're out, we're scouting, we're looking. Where could we put the you know, the, uh, the Vespa and where should we do it? And then finally we said, well, let's go get something to eat. So we went to this little restaurant called the daily bread and there was this big brick wall. <laughs> and I said, wait, a minute. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. And they closed it for, so they took out the tables. We bought the best band and, uh, and, and there's the, the shot and it's from Savannah, Georgia at the daily, uh, you know, the, our daily bread. Funny, uh, funny fun story. Time. Yeah, yeah. I, re it's a I remember great seeing. Album too. Oh, it absolutely is. So is Valari. Oh, I love I love all my albums. You know, that's good. Yeah. But for me to be Well, that's because you put a lot of time and attention in them. I mean, great care in the production quality, the song selection, the the storytelling through your voice. You've always put such great care in everything you do, Dina. Oh, thank you, Jim. That's so it's so uh, nice of you. So Valari means to fly. That's Italian. right. And I'm a pilot. My handsome husband, John, is a pilot. And uh, our plane is called Volare. <laughs> so, uh, Volare. Whoa. How much fun. I'm having a great time with you. I always have a good time with you. Um, you're just amazing at, at all of this. And uh, what are some things, you know, a couple of people asked. I know it's so difficult to really nail it because there's so many. But for you, um, what would be one special memory of you and your dad? Um, Actually, you know, I, I have one very special one that it was, it, it, it's when I, um, I think I was 16 and I, I, I asked my dad, I said, you know, I would like a coat, a suede coat from Wilson's House of Suede. Wilson's mm. House of Suede is, you know, it was in Beverly Hills, it's right on the corner of Wilshire, Little Santa Monica. And that was the place to go. 
to get your uh, your leather coats and suede coats. And it was right down the street from Beverly Hills High School. So I said, Dad, I'd like a coat from Wilson's House of Suede. He said, no problem, go get it. I said, well, you know what? I'd love for you to be there with me. Help me pick it out. And he's like, oh, I know he didn't want to go, <laughs> you know, and pick out the coat with me. He said, okay, when? I said, well, tomorrow after school, because I can walk over there. And so that's like 3.30. And so he left his golf game. And, you know, because he would play golf with his pallies and then he would, you know, play cards with them. So he left, he came in, he was sitting there, he was waiting for me when I got in there. And he was sitting there with a cigarette and all the sales ladies are you know, around him asking him questions. And I thought, okay, he's probably not real happy <laughs> he's doing this. <laughs> so I walked in and I tried on every coat. I picked out, you know, I mean, I, it was, I, I was just so happy that he was there with me and he was charming and great. And he said, well, I like that one. I don't like that. He says, get that one. Okay. Uh, you know, I'll pay for it. We're good. I said, no, I, now I have to pick out the, the buttons. And he says, the buttons. So he picked out the buttons. And he said, okay, now you, you good? I said, well, should I have them covered? You know, should they be covered in suede? He said, yes. He said, get that style, that color, have the buttons covered. And I love you very much. And he kissed me goodbye. And then I was picked up. But it was like, so that moment that he, he took that time with me away from, you yeah. know, all of his values, he sat there and he was just so sweet. And I'm thinking that's one of my most favorite memories that it, you know, there he was with me because he was very busy. You know, imagine what he was doing, the nightclub, you know, the, the Dean Martin show. He was doing all of the things, recording. And, you know, for him to to take the time, it was just his little private time where he would play golf and, you know, relax. And that he came there and, and did that with me. It was just, uh, I have a picture of me in that coat in the book. Yeah, yeah. And I have it framed on my, on my wall just because it was just so special to me. Yeah, mm. I'm, I'm, I was very lucky. What would be one thing that maybe people don't know about your dad that would surprise them in terms of something very special about him? Well, you know what? I think there have been so many books, you know, written about him. So many people. Yeah. Who know. There's probably nothing else that, uh, you know, I mean, everybody. Uh, he was just he was the king of cool. He was kind. He was sweet. I don't know. You know, I mean, people know he. He was kind of claustrophobic. He didn't like to go into elevators. And so right. he would make sure that his hotel was on you know, like the first floor where he could walk up the stairs. Uh, you know, it was just, you know, you know, little, little things about him. But I think everybody knows. Um, I think everything has been printed about him. And I can't think of anything that they, they wouldn't know. I mean, he walked around the house with, a, you know, his putter in his hand. He was practicing his grip. He loved to, you know, play golf. And uh, he loved his... You know, the Tom Mix movies, he'd love to go upstairs and watch a movie, you know, a, a Western or, you know, stay downstairs, you know, with us. But, you know, on the road, he uh, he wasn't out there partying with everybody. You know, that's, you know, uh, Uncle Frank and, and Uncle Sammy, they love to do that. Dad would rather you know, go to bed, get up early and go play golf. And yeah. I, I think about, you know, Uncle Frank, he, you know, he wanted to stay up to the wee small hours of the morning. Yeah. My dad wanted to get up in the wee small hours of the morning, go play golf and, yeah. uh, you know, be healthy. He, and enjoy uh, life. Maybe there's one thing, well, and I think it is in the book, but he taught me when we were out to dinner, it was always fun going out to dinner with him. He would take a, a dinner roll and he'd open it. He says, Nadina, he says, here what you do. You open it up, pull the inside of the bread out and only eat the crust. And that way you'll never get fat. And so if you'd go to dinner with us, you would see, you know, the little plate with all the insides of the bread. Uh, sitting on the yeah, on the bread plate, and we would just eat the the crust of the bread. He got up. He you know he exercised every, he exercised every day, and uh, he knew he knew what he was doing, and he was just so much fun. And what a voice, huh? Mm, a voice. I tell you. And of course, as you mentioned, uh, our other dear friend, uh, Mr. Griffith, the uh, handsome Mr. Griffith. <laughs> Oh, he he is always there by your side and makes sure everything goes well. And that is beautiful. That is really a love story, isn't it? Truly is. It it truly is. And we met on a blind date on Valentine's Day. Did you really? Yeah. And that and that night he said, you know, I think we should spend the rest of our lives together. So and you know, it's over thirty one years ago, and uh, you know, it was just uh, pretty spectacular. And it was. It was love. It was, it was perfect. He was so funny. 
when he walked in the door at, we were at um, La Scala, La Scala, good evening. He walked in, my sister kicked me under the table, said, he's gorgeous. And uh, he came over, we sat down, we had the best time, same sense of humor, uh, just spectacular. So I'm very, very blessed. Congratulations as well, quickly, on your uh, the radio show on WABC 77, that legendary station in New York City. I mean, you're very busy, and I know working in television radio, how busy things can get for all of us. But taking that on as well, um, you're enjoying it, the run of that, huh? I am enjoying that. And that way I can play all the great, all the great music. I can play what I want to play and let people know, you know, this was 1956 or this was 1965 and we were at Reprise Radio and then the Wrecking Crew, uh, they were playing. It was, uh, let me see, uh, let me see. So we had Lee Hazelwood and we had uh, Hal Blaine and you know, Glenn Campbell on guitar. And I'm thinking, my gosh, it was, you know, great times. Well, they were all on my radio, on my records too, my first yeah. uh, records that I did back then yeah. with uh, Jimmy Bowen was the producer. So the whole, the whole thing for me to be able to play all these songs and, and let people know when it was recorded, where it was recorded, who did this, who did that. It's, you know, it's, it's pretty important to me. It's, it's very cool. It's a lot of work. But you know, oh, absolutely. But, but you're loving it. Yeah, I am. Loving yeah. It. You're loving it and it, and it's it's beautiful work that you're doing. I know you got to scoot off. You have a lot of other things that are happening, but uh, I just wanted to you know wish you so well and I hope we get the chance to see each other again. And happy, happy birthday. I think I had uh -huh. mentioned something on social media. I was telling Rosario, wishing you well, but um, I just wanted to say, Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dina, we love you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Oh. From me and all of us to you. Oh. You are wonderful. Cheers. Sit Cheers to you as well. Time. Cheers. You think uh -huh. your dad would have liked my singing? <laughs> He'd like you. He would have loved you. He uh, would have loved the singing. He would have liked you. You know, uh, and, and what a good job you do on this show. Unbelievable. And thank you for the photographs and everything. You know, oh, it was a pleasure. And we'll go to Patsy's pleasure. soon. All right. We will go to Patsy's. We'll keep the porch light on for you. And one person that's my sidekick that is here that just wanted to say you did okay, kid. Mr. George Burns is with us. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> love you. Oh, my gosh. I'm sure you've come across that's him true. a few times over the years, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, memories. Yeah. You brought back so many fabulous memories for me. Thank you uh, so much. You're very welcome, my friend. I hope the show met whatever expectations you had and that uh, you enjoyed the time with me as much as I have with you. It's so wonderful seeing you, Dina. It was, it was, I, it, you surpassed all my expectations. It's spectacular. Thank you so much. Now make some pasta visual, okay? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Love you very much. You take care and be well, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, stay in Bye. touch. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. Thanks to John and everybody there as well. I'll go tell them. Thank you. Bye Take bye. care. Bye bye now. The incomparable Dina Martin right here on the Gym Master Show Live. She's got a very busy day, so we wanted to make sure that we were able to get her off so she can go off to the next uh, thing that she has to do. Um, a delight, right? Maybe this is the first time you got a chance to see Dina uh, in this capacity. If it is, I hope you were pleasantly surprised. She is amazing. She's just a... She's a lot of fun. She cares. She celebrates not only her father, but she's got a brilliant career herself. And she's an amazing singer. She's a wonderful actress. And her sense of humor is so spot on. It's quick. It's dry. It's witty, which is, as you guys know, my favorite kind of humor, where you're responding to crazy things that are going on in life with a one-liner or something that sort of sums up the situation. <laughs> She's just a breath of fresh air. And again, you can see all of her material online and her, her book and her CDs, all of it available at Amazon and all the usual places and her website. Just want to show you some of them as well. Of course, we talked about Swing Street. And of course, we talked about uh, Destination Moon and Memories Are Made of This and Volare and White Christmas. 
and uh, so gracious to join us here. We have mutual friends too in Tony Lobianco and Elise Lobianco who are wonderful. There she is with uh, Mrs. Sinatra as well. Here's another great shot with Susan Lucci we showed. And of course, if you ever get a chance to catch uh, Dina in concert, you will not be disappointed. She is amazing. She really is. And of course, uh, there is Dina with her brother Dino, of course. And um, some more great shots of her and her dad, Dean Martin. And um, elements of her dad remind me of, of course, my father as well, who we love. Um, just that smooth, funny sort of personality. Um, devil may care in a way, classy, sort of polished, warm, affable, uh, friendly, all the things that you guys say I have, <laughs> which is amazing. I guess we we get it. We absorb it. The kids, we've absorbed it from our folks, our wonderful parents, um, and we pay homage to them, of course, uh, with the one and only Regis Philbin and her incredible husband, John, who is amazing. Do you know that he uh, was involved in the TV series, the children's TV series back in the 70s, Zoom? You know, hear so much. You hear so much about Zoom being the platform for uh, digital technology, but the actual kids' show on PBS, John was involved in. We had some great conversations about that. Joe Montana, of course, love to get him on the show as a guest. Uh, there uh, she is with Dean, and he has Frankie Hummel on there too as well. And the wonderful Andy Williams, uh, one of my favorites, Andy Williams, Mister Christmas for sure. Again, we showed some of these earlier. There they are, the Martin family. Isn't that a great shot? I think she said she was two years old with that shot there. And there is John and Dina. And the Martins. Actually, this actually is when she was with the Beatles. That's the Beatles. Yes. We didn't have time to show it when she was on, but there she is with the Beatles, of course. Tom Hanks, Sophia Loren, who's telling her which beans to use in the pasta of Joe. <laughs> Not quite, but that was hilarious. Another Elvis Presley, there with Elvis Presley. We just dug some of these up and we thank uh, Dina and the team for sharing these with us. And there's Dina in the arms of her dad, Dean Martin. You guys have pictures like that with your dads? We certainly do. Lots of pictures. Our dad is a fantastic man. He uh, has a lot of the Dean Martin qualities. Andy Williams qualities. Crosby. All the greats. There they are. Look at that. There that is again. And there, there she is. Really wonderful, huh? Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Special time. Uh, we are again on tonight to another great episode. Tonight, we have, he's been in the business 60 years in Hollywood and television, film as a film director, screenwriter, and producer. Bruce Reisman is with us and the stories he has for us behind the scenes on film shoots and uh, writing sessions on some of your favorite television shows and movies over the years, Broadway. 60 years in Hollywood and Broadway. And Bruce is going to be with us tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific here on the Gym Master Show Live Entertainment Lifestyle Talk Show Series, where we are truly bringing back the lost art of conversation. Um, think Dick Cavett and Johnny Carson and some of the other greats, but with a modern twist and a modern vibe of today. And uh, Dina was coming to us live from her home there in beautiful Branson, Missouri, where a lot of those incredible theaters are. Branson is great if you've never been there before. It's tremendous, um, the growth of that area. So she's made her home there. And again, we really appreciate the amount of time that she gave us and we put this together. She was all excited to come on the show. She had watched the episode when our mutual friends, Tony Lobianco and Elise Lobianco were on and who are dear people as well. And uh, she had chimed in that night. You may remember, you can see that episode a um, couple of episodes. We did an episode with Tony. We did an episode with uh, Elise and um, it was fantastic. And then Dina had been watching the Gym Master Show live episode and she had uh, chimed in with some wonderful, beautiful comments 
during our live show as well. Um, again, we'd love it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV, where there are some 470 episodes live seven days a week of our series with guests from all walks of life, not just our celebrity friends, but folks uh, who are making a difference in our world, folks from a whole host of categories of life. And we always have a good time. We like to be interactive. We like to uh, share with all of you. Now, if you missed anything with this episode with our special guest, the one and only Dina Martin, you can see this episode again right here on our YouTube channel in full. And uh, while you're there, we would absolutely love it if you can give this episode a thumbs up on our YouTube channel, share the link on your social media, share it out, share this episode and all the episodes you enjoy, get the word out about the Gym Master Show Live. We would appreciate that. And you can see, binge watch our series 24-7, 365 on our YouTube channel. And again, we love, a lot of work as uh, you heard what Dina was saying, putting the shows together it's a lot of work. The key is we all, all of us that are in these industries, you know, entertainment and television, radio, stage, theater, film, whatever it is, we always try to make everything look easy, effortless, and smooth. So that way there, you guys can enjoy whatever it is we're all delivering uh, through our various creative juices and our thought process and our talents. And But there's a lot of work that does go behind the scenes, even with this series, um, a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes, but we absolutely love doing it for all of you and uh, coming into your lives. You certainly have come into our lives in such a beautiful way. All those comments on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, you can find me at Gym Masters TV and all those locations, our YouTube channel, which has grown exponentially and continues to grow thanks to everybody spreading the word about the Gym Masters Show Live Entertainment Lifestyle Structure Series, and also our Masters Mantras Series, which is a lot of fun. We do these short little videos, uh, visual and verbal bits of inspiration that are like 60 seconds to maybe two minutes from various places in my travels, and I share them with you on our YouTube channel as well. Hope everybody is doing well, and of course, as we always say, each day is a gift and a blessing and an opportunity to inspire and to be inspired, and that's what we try to do. As much as we have a lot of fun, we also learn something, we're entertained on these shows, and we like to uh, inspire each and every one of you. If this is the first time that you've uh, stopped by JMS, the Gym Master Show, thank you so much for doing that. We hope you'll be back. We have an entire week filled with incredible guests. Again, veterans, 60 years in the business, Hollywood and Broadway, film director, television producer, screenwriter, an epic conversation coming up tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, and so many more guests. If you want to know who's coming up, just check our YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV. We also have a Facebook group for our show. That is uh, the Gym Masters show, Lovety Hall. That's on Facebook. You're welcome to uh, check in and join us and join the fun there as well. Our Loveties, who are really faithful viewers from all around the world, they are here and they are always posting away and sharing uh, their stories and their life uh, as well. You guys are really terrific. Thanks for all of the levity during this conversation. And let's check in with some of our viewers watching around the world. Toby says, and she's in Encino, California. Good to see you, Toby. I've got many artists I'd like to consider for your show. Fantastic. Bring it on. We welcome guests to join us from far and wide, from all you know, genres of life, everybody welcome. As you know, when you watch our series, we really cover so many different genres. So good to see you, Toby. And hey, gang, did you see the episode when we had that brilliant artist, Henry Lamar, on the show? He's a dear friend. He is a brilliant artist. If you didn't see that episode, it was fantastic. And I love his facial expressions during the show as well. He was just bowled over by all the levity. Henry's in the house. So happy to have caught another show with my levity family. What a great, great show. Thank you, Henry. Coming from you, of course, uh, he's uh, incredible at what he does. A brilliant illustrator, celebrity caricaturist. Uh, if you didn't see that episode where we shared with you some of his brilliant work that he shared with us, 
go back in the archives and see some of the work that Henry shared with us on the show. Incredible, incredible. And uh, good to see you, Henry. I hope we break bread soon too, either, either here on the East Coast or you on the West Coast. Henry was a blast on the show, right? Absolutely. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome to the Jim Master Show Live Entertainment Lifestyle Talk Show Series. Beautiful interview, Jim. Thanks for transmitting. Dina Martin is the best. My pleasure. And uh, if this is the very first time for you, which it looks like it is, we welcome you. We are here daily. Our regularly scheduled time is 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, but we did a very special time to accommodate Dina's schedule. She's got a very jammed schedule right now doing the radio show and everything else that's happening in her life. So we wanted to make sure that we were able to welcome her in style with the red carpet treatment as we do for all of our guests and for all of our viewers. And uh, thank you for joining us. And we hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel, share this channel. This is a very special show we created here quite unique, uh, quite unique, lots of interactivity and so much more. Toby says, love to break bread with you on the West Coast. Yes, I'd love to do that. I have so many people and places to go, so many invitations, and uh, I can't wait to get back out there on a TV shoot or something that brings me back out West. We have family on the West Coast as well in California and throughout Arizona as well. We have relatives and family in Arizona. And uh, yes, Paley is now a lovety. See, the minute you you watch our show and you comment, you became a Jim Masters show live lovety. And what's cool is all of the uh, Dean Martin and Dina Martin pallies are now converging. That's what they call uh, the fans, the pallies. Um, and I love that. They're converging right now and melding with our Jim Masters show live loveties. That's the best, isn't it? That is the best. So welcome anybody here that is new. Jane is watching in Sweden. She loves it. Claps and hearts and so much more. This is really wonderful. Love seeing all of you guys here. Let's see more coming in. Uh, Karen, thank you for joining us as well. Hello, handsome John. You have such a beautiful wife. Yes, talking about John Griffith, uh, Dina's fantastic husband. Karen uh, is here in the house. Welcome to the Gym Master Show Live Entertainment Lifestyle Talk Show Series. Uh, Blissful Angel who started by watching our shows on our YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV. She started commenting on our YouTube channel, which we love, and we hope you'll leave a comment for this um, episode as well and uh, give it a thumbs up. And, um, and then I wrote back, and then she started watching us live, and I love it, and all the episodes. Great and very beautiful show, Jim. Thanks for your hard work to give us your loveties good time. Blissful Angel, which is a great name. I love it. You are very, very welcome. The pleasure is all mine to do all of this for all of you. Dina is the princess of cool. Well said, Chris, who is watching in Northern Ireland, watching us live on the Jim Masters Show Live. Sherry Larson says, loved this. Thank you, Jim. Catch you all later. Have a great rest of your afternoon. Yeah, we're actually going to do a little walk along the coast, have some dinner. We're on sort of a semi-vacation here, a squeezing in vacation while these shows are here. So uh, loving it, loving it, loving it. Uh, thank you, Sherry. And Mary Bishop says, uh, Dina was great to see you tonight. Absolutely. And uh, thank you, Jim and Dina. Loved the interview. Thank you very much, Karen. And you know what it is? Um, we call these conversations. I think there's a big difference when somebody does interviews. I mean, I think I've calculated it. In my years on television and radio, I've interviewed about 6,000 people um, in the, one of the many hats I wear in this industry. And uh, I call them conversations uh, because sometimes interviews are question, question, talk about the CD, talk about the movie, talk about the book, and then out. I really like, like to connect with people as Dina does through her artistry as well. And I like to um, inspire and empower people and bring us all together for the ride. So um, really cool stuff, really cool stuff. And uh, some of you want to connect further with the show. Uh, we're going to have a new email address for our show soon. So you can really connect with that. But of course, if you have a guest suggestion 
or you want to let us know how much you enjoy the Gym Masters show, uh, you can write to us at gymmasterstv at gmail.com. That's gymmasterstv at gmail.com. Again, we're going to be changing that email address to something more specific to the show. But for right now, gymmasterstv at gmail.com at the time of this episode. Uh, if you have ideas of guests, feel free to send them our way. We're getting... We're hearing from everybody. We're hearing from PR people, managers, agents, uh, guests themselves, friends of mine, celebrity friends, and others, people I've known for years. Dina, I've known for a long time as well. Uh, and she said, Jim, you just tell me where and when. I'd love to pop on your show. And uh, she already said she'll be back and she'll do it from upstairs in the den. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to that. And if you enjoyed this episode, again, feel free to leave a comment and give us a thumbs up on our YouTube channel. So uh, let's check in with a couple of more lovely comments here. You guys really just, you're on fire with these comments right now. Love this, love this, love this. And, um, oh yeah, look at this. Wow, I, I, there's so many of them here. And it was very happy, I was very happy to sing happy birthday to Dina. Her uh, birthday was a few weeks ago, but I wanted to uh, sing that. Um, that was very beautiful what she said, that she thinks that her dad would have really loved me, would have really liked to uh, get to know me. And I could see my father and Dean Martin as well, if Dean was still around, um, would have been an automatic. And Dean too, I'm sure I would have with, autom and Andy Williams too. I did have an opportunity to meet Andy at a PBS event. It was, he actually was taking his fabulous Christmas special uh, on the road. And uh, he came to one of the theater venues and I was doing some work with PBS, which I've done for years. And uh, I had an opportunity to meet him. Uh, and he just, another golden voice, but golden person, um, the wonderful Andy Williams. So, you know, uh, Dina has been surrounded by lots of love and lots of great people. And um, she honors them all. Isn't that a beautiful thing? That she honors them all. She celebrates them all, which I think is great. So it was, she didn't know I was going to sing her happy birthday. You know how sometimes we try to do that when we, we know there's a birthday. So I wanted to sing her a, a special happy birthday for me and all of us here. And it was kind of cool singing to, to Dina Martin live on our show. Thank you to Mary. This was a great conversation. Thank you, Dina. Please come back and spend some time, more time with us. Happy birthday. Absolutely. Yeah, she was... Uh, we jammed a lot in, uh, in that amount of time because she's very busy today and we wanted to make sure we can get her in and we love you and happy birthday. And Karen says, Dina is so beautiful, so elegant, so charming, so comical, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. She has uh, phenomenal talent. Yes, she does. Karen, you got it. Absolutely. Christine Clifton says, enjoyable conversation. Dina and Jim, interesting stories to go with all these fabulous photos. Thanks for sharing so many fun stories about times with your wonderful father. Yes, I agree. Merlin in Canada, thank you, Dina. Happy birthday to you. Sherry says, grew up uh, with your dad. Thank you for coming on with us today. Alessandra says, happy birthday, uh, Dina Martin. Yep, absolutely. And uh, Chris in Northern Ireland's Scream Queen Army says happy birthday, Dina, as well. And happy birthday from Toby. Uh, Dean Martin is still an idol and how beautiful that his daughter, Dina, has followed his passion for music. I agree 110%. Great interview from Karen. Thank you very much. Another wonderful show from Austin Field. Thank you, Austin Field. I appreciate that as well. And... Uh, everybody for all these great live comments during our show. Again, if you missed this and uh, you would like to see it again, don't hesitate to watch it right here on our YouTube channel exclusively, Jim Masters TV. Thanks, Jim, for a delightful conversation with Dina. It was fascinating to hear all the great stories to go along with all the fantastic photos. Dina was uh, definitely charming and she is talented. I agree. And uh, Chris has the original Ocean's Eleven movie on DVD. Starring, of course, Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, Angie Dickinson. That was one of the great movies of all time. And, um, you know, it's really cool. Um, those Dean Martin roasts, you, I think they're on YouTube. And, of course, the DVDs. We have all the DVDs. 
Don Rickles and Foster Brooks and Phyllis Diller. I mean, we're talking about the legends. We're talking about the classics. Nipsey Russell <laughs> and, and all of the others roasting Jackie Gleason and roasting Lucille Ball and uh, so many greats. If you have never caught the Dean Martin roasts, you should. That is classic television classic television. And again, I believe some of them are on uh, YouTube, places like that, but also you can get the entire collection. You know, you can just uh, find it online that's there. And uh, Toby in Encino, California says, comfort in our home conversation. That's exactly what it is. Exactly what it is. I love it. You guys are the best. You are the best. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We really, really appreciate this. And uh, again, uh, we're really working so hard behind the scenes. We're technically on vacation right now. So we have some of the shows prepared for you uh, in advance since we are on vacation technically. This one, we're here live. We're interacting with you. But uh, some of the shows we have recorded uh, and went through all the effort and the trouble to do that uh, in advance so we can enjoy a little vacation time with family some of our extended family that we haven't had a chance to see in a long time. But thanks so much. Yes, I agree. The Jim Masters Show Live is a very special place, and we're glad you're here. Um, it isn't just an interview show. It's a, it's a variety talk show, and we've done about 469, 470 episodes, which is extraordinary because we just launched this in May 2020 as an extension of my uh, professional work in this crazy industry which we call television and radio and internet and everything else. Um, was I just speaking with a little accent there? Or <laughs> The wonderful Dina Martin, dear friend, dear person. We love her. We wish her the very best. She'll be back with us. She's amazing. And so are all of you, gang. Thank you very much. Uh, my pop pop is in the famous golf picture with Jackie Gleason and away we go. Yes, yes. Carol Burnett, love her. I've met her, phenomenal. The Dean Martin roasts were great, I agree. And uh, yes, enjoy the vacation time as well. We have shows ready to go tonight and throughout the rest of the week for you with amazing guests, folks. You are not gonna believe the amazing guests we have coming up. If you wanna see who's coming up on our show, definitely check out our YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV, and you can scroll across and you can see all the amazing guests. We're back tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific with the Hollywood veteran, the amazing Bruce Reisman. A lot of funny moments, too, coming up. And uh, again, he's been in the business 60 years. He's got some stories to tell in only his style. And uh, he's like a curmudgeon. And he's really funny. Matter of fact, he did a little video for us, um, sort of promoting that he's going to be on our series tonight. And here he is. Hey, loveities out there. How you doing? Uh, this is Bruce Reisman, and I am lucky enough to have been invited to the Gym Master Show this Tuesday, August 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific time for a live interview to talk about my career in Hollywood, Broadway, film, TV, and the stage. 60 years I've been doing this and I have some great stories to tell, some secrets to tell, and some interesting stories about being on set behind the scenes and being in the writer's rooms where nobody else was when nobody else was allowed. I'll talk to you soon. I look forward to seeing you. And Jim, thanks a lot for inviting me. I'm kind of camera shy, so help me hold my hand through this interview. Thanks a lot. It should be fun. Bye-bye. Oh, yes. That's one thing that I'm definitely known for doing, which is holding the hand. No worries, Bruce. You will knock it out of the park tonight on the Jim Masters Show Live. We know that. We know that. Gang, thanks for joining us. Uh, a lot of people say, what can we do? We want to help the show. We, we love the show so much. Spread the word. Tell everybody you know about the Gym Masters Show Live. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share the links. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment on our YouTube channel. Talk about it. Talk it up on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Talk it up uh, to your family and friends and colleagues. Let them know about this very special, unique variety talk show, this entertainment lifestyle talk show series we call the gym master show. See y'all tonight. You got it. Um, and Jen, you as well. And, uh, the show with Henry Lamar, our special guest, uh, 
few weeks ago was terrific. Thank you, Jane in Sweden. Thank you very much, Chris in Northern Ireland and Juanita. Again, you can see all the episodes coming up. We have them all pre-prepared for you. You're going to thoroughly enjoy them all. You can still comment. You can still chat. Many of you did that last night. You were chatting. You were commenting. Our guest saw all your comments last night. That was Dr. the extraordinary Dr. Ziva Backman Flamhaft and that wonderful author. Wasn't that a great show last night? So uh, we see all of your chats when you're chatting live and all your comments. The guest is seeing it as well. So um, all these shows coming up this week, continue to chat away, comment away. We love that and we're seeing them all. Uh, so again, the entire week we have shows tonight, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday all lined up, ready to go for you with amazing guests. And you guys can watch, chime in and chat and enjoy every single one of them. That's right. And then a new season of the Gym Masters Show Live will uh, start next week with a whole bevy of incredible guests and a few surprises too. Jim, enjoy your vacation, spend time with family, visit the ocean too. See everyone later tonight. Lovely to all around the globe. Beautifully said, Christine. Hi to your mom as well. And Jane says, Jim, you should sing more often. You have a really nice voice. Thank you very much. I am an alto. Uh, I was determined an alto by Mrs. Sebastian and our music class in sixth grade in New York on Long Island when we used to sing, you know, in the Christmas plays and everything. And I know you guys are wanting me to strut the guitar that we have over there as well. We are going to be putting together some music oriented shows where I am the one doing the music for you. Uh, I just wanted to do it right and spend some time. Uh, now that we've created our new logo, which you see in the show open, we've got our new animation and the new logo is there. Everything is there. And we've got a couple more things. We're still tweaking with our show. Uh, we're going to have those lovely shirts and lovely hats and lovely swag that you guys want. Uh, that's the next step now that we have all of that other part created. And you guys are great. And look who just popped in from Paris, France. Anais is here. Always wonderful when you're here. She goes, hello, dear lovely squad. Don't you love that? Can't you just hear her saying, can't you just hear Juanita saying that with the South African accent. Can't you just hear Jane saying Lovety Squad with the Swedish accent? Can't you just hear Anaya saying it with the uh, French accent? Can't you just hear it with Christine saying it with that Southern drawl? And Blissful Angel, are you in the UK? Where are you watching from, Blissful Angel? Are you in the United Kingdom? Because if that you are, then you would have a... Uh, Northern Ireland, Scotland, uh, English accent, <laughs> like our master's relatives have in England and Ireland. All right, gang, you guys are the best. And uh, of course, now we know Alessandra is going to be making shake and bake chicken for dinner. <laughs> you guys are the best. Looking forward to everything with all of you. Stick with us, gang. We've done 469, I think uh, it's either 469 or 470. We're doing so many one after the other that it, we have two shows. This is a double lovety day. First with Dina Martin right now, and then uh, incredible uh, Hollywood veteran television and uh, film producer, screenwriter, and uh, you're going to love him tonight. He is, he really has some stories to share. You're going to really be bowled over. And uh, thanks for all the comments about all the other guests that um, we have um, had on the show. And again, if you've missed any of our episodes, go back in the archives. They are all there. See you later. Enjoy your walk and dinner, Jim. Thank you, Jane. Lots of birthdays coming up, including mine in September. Mine is September 24th. I'm a Libra, so we always crave balance and harmony. And uh, we have our work cut out for us lately with everything that's going on, crazy stuff in the world. And uh, we need to make a worldwide compliment. We are the world. We can do a we are the world compilation of all the happy birthdays that are coming up. A busy fall. Uh, meteorologically speaking, tomorrow, September 1st, I believe, is the technically, technically, from a meteorological standpoint, fall for us here, fall. Um, even though we don't want to say that yet, because we look at fall, I think it's like um, you uh, popped in late. 
uh, but you're still here with us. You can watch this episode with Dina Martin uh, in the archives uh, tomorrow, September 1st, uh, from a meteorological standpoint, is the first day of fall. Though calendar wise, it's not until like September 21st or so. But uh, it is uh, 82 degrees here in the Northeastern United States, where we are along the Southern New England coast between New York and Boston uh, in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut tri state area. And thanks, everybody. Uh, spring day tomorrow. Don't think so for you guys, right? <laughs> you, you've got the calendar, you're, you're flipped the other way, like Australia. You're in winter. Uh, going into spring and we're in summer, which we're going to hang on to. And, and anyway, Juanita, Juanita, since you're there in Africa, in South Africa, do you have any power to make sure that no more hurricanes <laughs> leave the African coast, build in the Atlantic, and then come west towards the islands, towards Cuba, towards... United States. Do you have any pull there? Can you talk to some people there while you're in South Africa? And a lot of the those inspirations for the hurricanes come off the African coast, and then they sort of build in the Atlantic Ocean. Any way that you guys can build a fence, a wall, or something that so those disturbances that sweep off the African coast don't get into the Atlantic, don't build up and become those hurricanes. <laughs> uh, if, if you have any pull, Juanita, while you're there in Africa and South Africa, uh, we would love it. All your, all your friends here to the west of you uh, in the United States and Mexico and the Caribbean and those in Canada and Nova Scotia, because they get it as well. See if you can try to stop those low pressure disturbances that sweep off the African coast, dive into the Atlantic and then become hurricanes. Um, Juanita says, yes, no more hurricanes for you. I'll talk to the Cape doctor. Perfect. Talk to the Cape doctor. Tell him that we here on the West side of things have had enough of them. We had Hurricane Henri breeze through here. Uh, the folks in the South had Hurricane Ida, which was devastating. And prayers to everybody there. We know one of our lovely viewers, Mona, is in Louisiana. You know, New Orleans, a million people are without power right now at the time of this show. Again, this show is live, but um, you may be watching this six months from now in our archive. So this will have been passed and hopefully everything will be taken care of. Um, so, uh, you know, good question. We don't know what we're having for dinner yet. That's a good question. We, we've been so busy with these shows. We don't know. Uh, we'll have to think about that. Should we have some... Uh, Escargot or something, since you're in France. What do you recommend? Uh, French onion soup, since you're in France. <laughs> Some wonderful French cooking. Um, somebody of French persuasion who's an extraordinary cook and chef and author, TV host, who I had great blessing talking about things French. I had the great blessing of uh, interviewing on PBS. He actually lives about 20 minutes away from me, he's not far from me at all, is the incomparable Jacques Pepin. You know, the phenomenal French chef, Jacques Pepin, and his amazing PBS specials and his TV series and all his books. I've met him on numerous occasions. He is a master in the kitchen and he is a wonderful man. And um, he's just really gracious. Love him, uh, Jacques Pepin. And um, 20, it's going to be 24 days till the birthday. That's right. Tomorrow starts our four months of the BER months. Yes, birthday months. Double lovely day. See so many of you for show number two soon. Absolutely. You like the fact that we say cuisine. <laughs> I like the way she says that. I love the fact that American people say cuisine. Cuisine. So what would you say something different? Do you like the fact that we say cuisine or is there another word that you would use? Um, yes. Yes. Anne. you will love this episode with the extraordinary Dina Martin. Uh, she was amazing. She even sang a little bit of Volare for us. <laughs> Volare. Whoa. And I sang her happy birthday, which I think uh, knocked her out. She was very surprised. She didn't 
didn't know I was going to do that. And I had it up my sleeve to do that for Dina. And again, she was amazing. So you can see the episode in its entirety. We love this chat that we do sort of afterwards too, uh, when we have time. As I mentioned, Dina and I met in New York a uh, number of years back and we've stayed connected. I asked her to come on the show and she said, I would love to. And of course, her incomparable husband, John Griffith, her manager, producer extraordinaire, just all around terrific guy. They're beautiful people, really, really are. And again, there is Dina with her dad, Dean Merton, right here on the Gym Master Show Live. Only the best, as we've been saying, only the best for JMS Lovety Squad viewers. Cuisine is perfect. Thank you very much. Cuisine. <laughs> I can't do that pop. There's, I forgot the guy. There was a famous actor, comedian that could do, you know, that pop. Um, Juanita says, American people don't say drawers, though, for the utensils. <laughs> Well, sometimes, I guess it depends. <laughs> sometimes, right? Draw, draw, say the drawer, the bureau, the cabinet. Well, the cabinet is, some people say cupboard. We say cabinets. Some people say cupboard. They're going to put the things in the cupboard. We say cabinet. Anyway, oh, we're thinking about doing a um, pop-up show next week. I think we're, because you guys love to chat, and I love this host chat, Lovity, that we do. Uh, like I said, this isn't just an interview type show. This is a talk show and we love to commiserate with all of you. And so does our friend and, and, uh, Dina got a kick out of George Burns. And of course, Dean Martin knew George Burns and she knew George Burns. Uh, all the guests love when I bring this, uh, collector's, uh, doll out again, for those of you who don't know why we show this, well, it's something fun we do at the end of the shows, but, uh, this was a, this was an item that used to be my Aunt Lillian's that got pen, passed down to me. And it's a one-of-a-kind collector uh, situation. So she collected dolls. So George Burns, there he is up close and personal. Look at those eyes. Now you can really see him. He says, you guys are the best. He loves all the lovety himself. <laughs> and he said, you guys are amazing. So, yes, you remember that episode with the utensils and the drawers. And <laughs> that was hilarious. That was a fun episode. All right, gang, we are going to scoot out. We have another show lined up for you tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Shows the rest of the week, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. I hope you enjoy them all and you share the lovity with all of your friends. And again, if you're new to our show and you haven't done it yet, we'd love it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gym Masters TV. Uh, which happens to be, we try to make it really easy for you. It is the channel that you're watching right now. Yeah, we make it easy. It's all Gym Masters TV on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, our YouTube channel is all Gym Masters TV. All right. So I think we've said it all. We toast you all. It was kind of cool that uh, we did that. I knew that she was going to have the martini glass. I knew Dina was. She always has it. She is one classy lady. So we toast to all of you. Thanks for joining us. Sip, sip. Only the best on JMS. I think we use that as a new tagline. We were talking, but we were kidding about that here. I just happened to say that only the best on JMS. I think we may slide that into our uh, new vernacular when we talk about the show. Well, enjoy your cuisine and then goodbye, everyone, to you. Au revoir. Au revoir to you as well in France. Enjoy. Good night, loveties. You as well. You guys take care. We love you all. Thanks for being with us. It's really a wonderful community we've created all around the world with all of you on the Gym Master Show Live. Something special. Spread the word as we continue to grow this by leaps and bounds. It means the world to us. Thanks once again to our very special guest, uh, Dina Martin for joining us live and direct from Branson, Missouri, where again, where she makes her home. We love her and we thank her very much for being with us here as my special guest on JMS. Chris, good to see you there. Hope all is well in Ireland. Good night, Jim and Lovities. And again, we have another great show coming up with riveting stories with Bruce Reisman, uh, the Hollywood veteran. 60 years in Hollywood, 60 years in Broadway, and he has lots of stories to share with us and lots of laughs coming up tonight. Take care. Be well.
I think we've said it all, right? I don't think there's anything else we could say that we haven't said yet, other than you're the best. We love you. Uh, be well, take care of yourselves, make sure you know you're good to one another, love one another. As we always say when we do wrap up the show, um, don't forget to smile. Don't forget to share the levity. Don't forget to find your Zen place. Mine, of course, is with loving family and friends. I also love music and cycling and tennis and baseball and gardening and great conversations and the ocean, swimming, surfing, boogie boarding, sailing it, uh, walking it being near it. And we're going to go near it right now in a few minutes. We've got, uh, we have the remnants of Hurricane Ida, which is now, I believe, uh, Tropical Depression Ida or Tropical Storm Tropical Depression. It's going to come up our way on Wednesday and Thursday with a deluge of rain. They're saying could be possibly as much as six inches, which would be flooding. Hopefully not. But uh, that is headed in our direction, the remnants. Not all the wind and everything that they got in the uh, Louisiana and everywhere else. So the ocean is going to be whipped up a little bit tomorrow and Thursday. We have Labor Day weekend coming up. Of course, we wish everybody a very happy Labor Day weekend. We have shows here on our YouTube channel and great guests throughout for you to keep you entertained, informed, and inspired. But uh, Labor Day weekend holidays coming up. So the ocean is my Zen place and my work in television, radio, stage, and film over the years also is Zen place as well. You're watching the Jim Master Show live entertainment lifestyle talk show series right here for you on our YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV, a channel dedicated to entertaining, informing, educating, and inspiring with yours truly. And all of you, all of you make it extra special. Uh, ja TM, you as well. I love that. I also love that song too. Um, mm, good stuff. What a choir that would be. I was in a small choir a few years ago and was also an alto. Yes, you're an alto as well. I know we, we did some singing in the past with um, Lady Bane, remember? And some of our other guests, we did Christmas uh, episodes. Lady Bane wants to come back on the show, so she's going to be joining us, so you know her. Uh, if you didn't see the episode we did with Lady Sandra or uh, Marion Ross or Stanley Livingston, or uh, Marissa Licata, the acclaimed violinist who um, worked with Jethro Tull and uh, Steven Tyler and Alicia Keys and so many others. Uh, she's amazing. Did you see the episode with the brilliant singer and actress Connie Jackson? Connie Jackson stars as Elaine on NCIS on CBS television. She also toured with Phil Collins and so much more. She's, we had such an epic conversation and a deep conversation. You can see that episode on the Gym Master Show Live. Did you see Matt Dusk when he was in the house? Incredible singer and performer, crooner, jazz vocalist, multi-award winning, live from Toronto, Canada. He was with us uh, as well. We enjoyed having him. Did you see when Seraphin was with us? Incredible singer as well from Quebec. Um, those episodes are all available for you on the Gym Master Show Live. And last night, of course, with Dr. Ziva Backman-Flamhaft, the brilliant author of War Widow, that was an amazing, very poignant and open and revealing and inspiring conversation as well. And you guys were chatting away. Don't forget, you can comment uh, during the live chat. Uh, the chat is always live. Even when the show is there, the chat is always live. And uh, leave a comment uh, afterwards on our YouTube channel. Blissful Angel says, Jim, it'll be great to see you play and sing. I can't wait to join my fellow love days on your birthday. Happy birthday in advance. Thank you very much, Blissful Angel. What a great name. What a great name. I love it. And Juanita says, yes, the singing with Lady Bane was awesome. We'll gladly have her back. Yes, she approached me about a week ago and she says, Jim, I've got some new things. There's some major changes happening, and I'd love to share it with you and the Lovities on JMS. So that's what she's going to do. All right, gang, we're going to get out of these clothes. We're going to go casual, and we're going to the coast, and we're going to have a good time. Sincerely, sincerely, thank you so very much. I see all the comments on social media. I see all the comments here on our YouTube channel. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your busy lives to actually join us. Those who watch live, those who comment later, those who watch live and comment, those who watch live and don't comment, just watch. 
it's all duly noted and it's all greatly appreciated. And it gives us the juice, the stamina to keep doing what we're doing, which is yeoman's work, putting all these incredible epic shows in our series, The Gym Master Show Live, together for all of you. This is work that I do, that I've done for a long time, it comes naturally for me, and I'm so happy to share it with all of you. Uh, there's so many of you I'm meeting for the very first time through this series, and I think it's beautiful. So we say thank you to all of you in all the different languages around the world. You mean a great deal to us. And as we always say, don't forget to relax. If you have a tough day, a rough day, always join us here at the Gym Masters Show. We always have ways to inspire, entertain, and lift you up and have a good time together too. Have a good time. No prerequisites to watch us here. Doesn't matter your zip code, your income, your height, your weight, your eye color, your gender, how much money you got in the bank, or political views, religious views, none of that. Everybody's welcome to the party here at the Gym Masters Show. And if you have a bad day and you're missing us for any reason, hey, look at the archives. You know, if it's a time, like say it's earlier in the day when we're not on and we come on at night, um, just watch some of the previous episodes. They'll put a smile on your face. So relax, relax. As Labor Day is approaching here in the United States, relax is something we're all gonna be doing. A couple more last minute comments here. Jane, you as well, you take care. And uh, don't forget, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. The show returns with double lovity. Two episodes. Two episodes on a Tuesday. Sometimes we do that on the weekends. Two episodes on a Tuesday. Only the best on JMS for all of you. All right, gang. I think we've said it all, which I said about a half hour ago, didn't I? Oh, boy, our goodbyes are long. That's why we don't say goodbye. We say see you later. All right. That's it. I think we've come... Looking around, I think we've covered everything, right? We're good to go. Thanks once again to the incomparable Dina Martin. And thanks to all of you. We love you guys. Back tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Extraordinary show coming up. We'll see you again soon. Right here on the same Bat Channel, Gym Masters TV as well. We had a bank holiday weekend this past weekend. I hope uh, you banked all the moments and you had a really good time there in Ireland and I hope things are going well for you and everybody, our friends and family in beautiful Ireland. All right, gang, you take care. We'll see you again, okay? Right here on the Gym Master Show Live. As long as you're here, we'll continue to be here as well. And spread the word to everybody you know. Thank you very much. I love that. We, we couldn't go without slipping that in from beautiful France and Anais. A heart and the care sign right back at you. Thank you very much. And Jane in Sweden with more of the same as well. Thank you, Jane. So we've got Ireland, we've got Sweden, we've got France. <laughs> yes, all around the world. And those who watch later from all the different places on the planet, um, we thank you for watching this in the archives as well. See you again soon, gang. We love you. All right. You are the very, very best. As Jackie Gleason said, how sweet it is. Take care. We'll see you again later on. Bye-bye.